Hey guys, Zenith here. So, just about 10 minutes ago, they announced a new Nintendo Switch. Well, not the new Nintendo Switch, uh, like the 3DS, but uh, they announced the OLED model. And for a while, we've been seeing leaks and, well, not leaks, but rumors. Um, I mean, we have been seeing leaks as well, but um, we've been seeing a lot of rumors about a new Nintendo Switch. Uh, specifically, one that includes an OLED display, and it's, it's finally here. So uh, I've watched the trailer and I've looked into all the details uh, on Nintendo's website that they don't show in the video. Uh, so in this video we're going to go over them and I'm going to make sure that you guys are all aware of what this is. Uh, so first off I'm going to say it's not a Switch Pro and it's not any more powerful than the current Switch. It's just got an OLED display and a few uh, small uh, improvements which will surely improve the experience for handheld and tabletop play. Uh, which is what makes it really exciting for me because I love playing my Switch in handheld and tabletop is a big issue on the current Switch um, but I'll get into that later. Anyways, uh, first off, it has an OLED display as I said. Uh, the OLED display is 7 inches. The current Switch display is, I think it's around 6 inches. I'll put it on the screen um, how big it is at the moment. But, you know, it's a pretty big improvement. Just looking at the video, you can see it's getting much closer to the corners. It's not quite, you know, um, the bezel-less amount that mo uh, phones are, but it's a big step up from the current Switch, where you've got a lot of distance between the edges of the console and the screen. Uh, on top of that, uh, there is actually one improvement which I'm really excited for, uh, is the new kickstand. I use my Switch a lot in tabletop mode, and it's so hard to get it onto a surface that isn't completely flat. So this new kickstand, as you can see on the screen right now, is kind of all the way across the console. It's wide, as they call it. And I think that's amazing, because at the moment, it's, it's really difficult, as I said, to get the Switch on a tabletop mode. Uh, but this will surely improve it, and if you use tabletop mode on the Switch, this will certainly improve your experience. They say the Switch, the new Switch, has enhanced audio. Now, the thing is, I've said this before, I far prefer the audio on the new 3DS XL, and I guess the 3DS XL as well, um, to the Switch's audio. It's just got so much more stereo to it. It's, it's so weird. It's um, When I'm using the Switch, it sounds kind of um, not quite as uh, stereo as it could be. So I'm really hoping that they've made it a bit more, what's the word, um, directional, I guess, uh, than the current Switch, which really uh, does excite me because, uh, as you guys know, I'm a big audio guy, but the thing is, I usually use headphones with my Switch, so it's not that big of a deal, but, you know, I, I like to use the speakers if they're good, and I always go out of my way to use the speakers on my 3DS when I can. Uh, a, another major improvement, which I'm sure all of you Smash players absolutely need to get, and if you haven't, please get a USB adapter. Um, it's got a built-in Ethernet port into the dock. Now, this is a huge uh, deal for me, uh, personally. I, I use USB adapters, so I'm already sorted in that case, but a lot of people who I play Smash Brothers with don't bother getting these Ethernet adapters, and if you want to... Um, the thing is, the Ethernet adapter can really change your experience in Smash Brothers. Uh, if you're using Wi-Fi, there's a chance that, and, and you're lagging, there's a chance that getting a Ethernet cable and plugging that into your Switch will uh, drastically improve your, uh, what's, it'll drastically improve your online connection. And that will make it a better experience for everyone who's playing, because if your connection's bad, it's ruining it for everyone. So please make sure that you've got a good connection and make use out of this new Ethernet port, alright? You have no excuse anymore. Alright, uh, and next, something that's kind of, um, it's kind of annoyed me, but, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that everyone's gonna get this. White Joy-Cons. Um, if you guys are in my Discord server, or you've seen any of my live streams, you'll know that I have a Switch with white Joy-Cons, which I customised myself. And, uh, I, I really like the look of the white Joy-Cons, I think they look beautiful, and I'm surprised Nintendo didn't release any up until now. But we've finally got white Joy-Cons for the Switch. Uh, which is really good, and they, speaking of the Joy-Cons, uh, it is confirmed that they are exactly the same as the current Joy-Cons, which I'm sure will get a lot of people booing. Um, so yeah, they haven't really made any differences other than the colour to the current Joy-Cons, uh, sorry, to the new Joy-Cons. So your current Joy-Cons will be exactly the same as these, but just different colour. And that also means that it's backwards compatible with the older Joy-Cons, as you can expect. 
Cool. Um, next, there is uh, actually two variants which I didn't show in the trailer. Uh, there is a neon version of the new Switch, and if you look in the trailer, you'll see that the white one has a white dock. Uh, there is a black dock with the neon Switch, so if you don't like the look of the white dock, you can get the neon Switch, and you can use that instead, because that has a black dock, which is pretty nice. Uh, I personally prefer the black dock with the white Joy-Cons, because I think it's a bit too much white, but... Um, your opinion might be different, I just personally think it looks better with minimal amounts of white just on the controllers. And that will also mix well with other colours, but hey, I'm not a professional at design. Um, of course, uh, this is something that might have a few people uh, wondering, but yeah. Uh, the new dock is backwards compatible with the current Switch, so that means you can use your current Switch, your, your 2017 or your 2019 Switch with the new dock, with the Ethernet port and all that stuff, which is, which is really good. And, uh, of course, that also means the size of the console is the same, so if you've got a carrying case, no need to worry, your current switch, uh, your current carrying case will work with the new switch, which is great. So yeah, that's, that's about all I have to say, that's all they've really shown us. Um, so yeah, that's the new Nintendo Switch with the OLED display. I, I'm personally really excited for it, and it's coming out in October, uh, when was it? October the 9th, I think it was. Oct October the 8th. So it's coming out in October 8th, and I'll be getting this day one. Uh, and I, I really can't wait, because I play handheld a lot. And uh, please sh share your, uh, your opinions on this new Switch in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.